Hey everybody, welcome to another HD tutorial. In this one I'll be showing you how to utilize the CCleaner's registry editor and cleaner tool. Um, I'm just going to open up CCleaner for you now, and if you don't already have CCleaner, um, go ahead and watch my video on how to get it. It is a freeware program, and um, I really do recommend it. It's a really nice piece of software. Now, there is a new version available, but the same features do apply to this older version, uh, version 2. So here we go. Uh, go into the registry tab, and here we can see, um, basically, it's it's looking over your entire registry and scanning it for issues, missing or shared DLLs, unused file extensions, unused fonts, etc. Just things that don't need or that are jumbled up in your registry that it has the opportunity to remove. So um, let's go ahead and scan for issues here. And I'll actually let this run for you guys in real time. It starts off very slowly and then it finishes up quickly after about 40 or 50 percent. So it's basically looking through almost the entire Windows registry. And you can see we already have a little bit of issues. I haven't run this in a while. But a little bit of issues with um, maybe things that I've downloaded and never used. Maybe missing file extensions. So here it's halfway done. Let's finish. And I'll actually go through through these with you here. It says it's completely done. One of these is an active X issue, an invalid defa default icon, an open with application issue, and another active X issue. So in order to fix these problems, you can uncheck them and check check the certain ones that you do want to uh, to fix, or we can go to the top and just check the the tab or check the button next to problem to select all. We hit fi uh, fix selected issues. And you do have the opportunity to back up changes to the registry, and I do recommend this if you're making a large number of changes. However, I do not need to do this for now. And basically, you can go to the right and left to see the different uh, descriptions of them. So it says this ActiveX issue is often left behind after, excuse me, after uninstalling software. So the solution is to delete the registry value, and it will tell you under every single one what the solution is. You can fix individual issues, or you could just hit fix all selected issues, and OK. And bam, that was fixed. All four issues were fixed. We hit close, and your registry says no issues were found. So there we go. That's just one of the quick little tools that I'll show you guys. And I'll go over a lot of new quick little tools, especially in like CCleaner and Camtasia Studio 6, Audacity. I've got a lot of tutorials, again, to do for you guys. But that's, that's it for this one. So if you do have any tutorial ideas, um, or requests or anything you'd like uh, to message me, go ahead and subscribe and message me through YouTube. And I'll try to get uh, the best request video in that I can. This one was not a request, but again, I do take requests. So thanks for watching this one. Have a nice day and subscribe. Peace.